Well, howdy folks and welcome to the Max Adventures channel. I'm your host Max. We are currently passing the Blackburn Syrup Works here in Jefferson, Texas. One of my favorite, my very favorite towns in Texas. And I, I think you'll see why here real soon as I start showing it to you. One of the cool things they do here is they've made a ordinance where you can't have any new businesses or chain style businesses in the downtown corridor which keeps everything looking the way it did back in yesteryear and i love these kind of places we just passed a cool old gas station from back in the day so we're pulling into downtown i'm gonna make a left up here and we're gonna head over to the blackburn syrup works outlet store and pick up some jellies jams oh check this out that's too cool double decker and some uh, syrups for the family and friends. Look at this town. We're around right the Louisiana border and you can see that French style architecture, the wrought iron. It's freaking awesome, folks. Let's get into this video and let's go get some syrups, jellies, and jams quick. Well, howdy folks, welcome to Jefferson, Texas. We're right on the Louisiana border just about. It's one of my favorite Texas towns. Laid back, has that feel of yesteryear, and the uh, Blackburn Syrup Company is located here, and I'm at their outlet store. So let's go get some syrup and jelly and good stuff and uh, check it out. Here's your receipt on that. <laughs> all right guys if you're in jefferson stop by the uh, blackburn's outlet store fantastic prices hey, look at this dollar 70 i mean you, you can't this whole box is 20 bucks and i got so many things in here a big old jar this one's 20 percent honey this one's really good on like a sopapillas or funnel cakes or whatever it's just fantastic that's a big giant jar what is that 40 ounces it's 40 ounces of freedom right there diabetes one or the other anyway uh just all kinds of good stuff what i'll do is i'll pass these out to family and friends and all but i have to stop in here and get a little everything the prices are great the products are great It's made right here in town. Can you believe all that stuff I got for 20 bucks? Unbelievable. But yeah, folks, this is one of my favorite towns in Texas. Just fascinating. It's like stepping back in time. This Kit's Cornbread Kitchen is really good. It's uh, They make sandwiches all on cornbread instead of regular bread. Delicious. As you can see, you're close to Louisiana. You get the uh, Louisiana French style architecture. It's one of the oldest towns in Texas. And this uh, Riverport barbecue is really good. It smells delicious. You can smell the smoke. See the smoker coming? The smoke's coming out right from behind there. Mm. Making me hungry. All right, let's go check out the general store in town. All righty, folks, let's make our way over to the nature park and the infamous general store in Jefferson. And just to my left, there's a lot of antique shops and all. And behind that is the old uh, railway here in Jefferson. It does some really cool tours, so uh, check that out if you're in town.
So this was a big river boat port back in the day. I like this etched glass thing. That's pretty cool. Uh, are we gonna make it? Jefferson Turn Basin, wide, deep lagoon in Cypress Bayou. He's turning around ships in the Gulf Red River trade. Big port city back in the day, folks. It's a big golf cart town. You can uh, drive your golf carts down the middle of the road and they rent them here. So if you're staying in town for a few, it's worthwhile to get your golf cart and just cruise around, see what the town has to offer. It's got a lot of cool little restaurants and shops and just all kinds of fun stuff. All right, folks, this store is really freaking awesome. Uh, when I went to load this, for some reason it went public immediately, which I don't know why. I had it set on private and then it told me it was blocked because of copyright. So I had to delete all the original footage from this part of the video, which there was some great commentary in here. Unfortunately, all the YouTube copyright st uh, strike stuff came up, so I had to delete all the original audio. Drives me crazy. I'm not putting their music in there. I don't want crap music in there. But, uh, you know, that's the way it is. That's the way they set it up. So, uh, I'll have to uh, just check it out without any audio. So, what I'm going to do is speed this part of the film up so that it's not too long with no audio. So this here is the old Excelsior house, and it's had a lot of presidents and famous people stay here. So uh, I think the oldest uh, running hotel in the state of Texas. It even hosted uh, Ulysses S. Grant back in the day. We stayed here uh, probably, I don't know, 20 years ago. I saw a special about it being haunted, and we stayed in the haunted room, and uh, Mrs. definitely felt like she was being watched and uh, messed with all night but I went straight to bed I drink a lot it's the old Excelsior house been around since 1800s A little bit about Captain William Perry. If you guys want to stop and pause it and read it. It's a pretty old building here. I just love the architecture in this town. It's absolutely brilliant. I mean, look at this building. Isn't this magnificent? The detail and all the brickwork and all. The little adjacent windows there, accent windows and all. This is the R.D. Moses Model Railroad exhibit. Must see for all train lovers. Jefferson Historical Museum. So this is the old federal court and post office buildings. That's what this originally was. Used from 1890 to 1964 by Court of Eastern District of Texas, now a museum. So this is built in 1890, or opened in 1890. Fascinating building. There's 
another old hotel across the way here. Last time I was through town, they were rebuilding this or restoring it. Hayward. Haywood House. There's the Excelsior house and it's full, and there's the old courthouse building. Beautiful building. But I mean, walking through here, you feel like you're in Mayberry or somewhere. It's really an odd feeling. You really do feel like you're back in time. Simpler time. And their bed and breakfast, the Black Swan. And here is the J. Gold's railroad car. Built in 1888 by the American Car and Foundry Company. St. Charles, Missouri. So this is his private car. Built in 1888, so uh, he died in 1892, so he didn't use it very long. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, I remember uh, seeing the old presidential campaigns and all where they'd be uh, campaigning from a rail car back in the day. It's kind of what it reminds me of. Or something from a uh, Twilight Zone episode. Next stop, Willoughby. Willoughby, next stop. Pretty cool, though. I think these are all places you can stay too for the night. Part of this little hotel bed and breakfast thing. So yeah, if you get a chance, put this place in your bucket list. It is uh, definitely worth the travel to. We're in uh Far East Texas, almost to Louisiana. So if you are in the area, make this a little uh, pit stop for sure. It's worth the time. And the Excelsior House was awesome, right there across the street. You got a nice breakfast in the morning. Beautiful property. And it's haunted, so. I'm into the ghost thing myself. Just a little added bonus. All right, that's a quick tour. There's so much you can see here. I'm just doing a quick glance over, but uh, yeah, check this place out. All right, guys, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.